Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. This is Marquita here with Late Nights Early Mornings and I just want to do a little update on my arrow garden situation. Um, for those of you who have been following my channel or have seen any of my previous arrow garden videos, my very first arrow garden it was um, a Harvest Elite Slim and it was like the one that you see here, the silver. And it had a few um, technical difficulties. So when I first set it up, um, the light that you now see is stable was blinking red and it said add water on the screen. Um, and that was a defect with the water sensor because it kept saying that I needed to add more water. Um, it wasn't registering that um, there was water or the appropriate amount of water in the Aero Garden. So after um, contacting customer service and you know, we went through troubleshooting. They sent me a replacement um, water floaty, which is like the little, it's just a magnet that um, measures the water. And I tried that and it also, you know, didn't work. They finally said that they would send me a replacement. This was back in February because I ordered um, this Aero Garden around President, President's Day. Um, Best Buy was having a President's Day sale. So I ordered it and paid like $119 for it. So, um... I was speaking with Aero Gardens customer service and so eventually after the troubleshooting and the attempt at the replacement piece, um, they finally determined that it must be something else going on with the machine and there's, they sent me a replacement machine, so a new Aero Garden. So this is what you're looking at right now. Um, I did move my previous lettuce uh, pods from the old Aero Garden to, the, to this current new one and as you can see and we're all very excited to see. There is no red blinking light. I just set it up um, earlier tonight. As you can see, it's 11.08 p.m. Um, and this is what your screen on the Aero Garden Harvest Slim Elite would look like if everything is working as it should be. Um, it's green, that means everything's good. Since I just started it, it's zero days in terms of how long um, the pods have been in there and if you had just started your pods, you know, put them in that would just represent the fact that, you know, you just started them so they haven't even been in there a whole 24 hours. So that will go up as each day goes by. And then this is the countdown for my food. So we have our um, arrow garden because you're supposed to put the plant food and the plant food is just this liquid. Um, it comes with it. So when you get your arrow garden, you get the liquid plant food as well as your um, pods that you selected and everything. So everything you see here came with the arrow garden. Um, so you would um, have the countdown. So every two weeks, so 14 days, you would add more food. So that's just showing you your countdown and then your clock. And then that would be the days that things have been growing. So that is the functional, fully functional, um, Aero Garden Harvest Slim Elite. So happy that I finally have it now and that it worked fine. And then we'll move over to my newest, um, Aero Garden. And this is the, a little bit larger, as you can tell. Um, the other Aero Garden, the Harvest Slim Elite, the silver one, holds six pods at a time. This one, which is the Bounty Basic, holds nine pods at a time. And I ordered this one directly from the Aero Garden website. And they were having a sale, so I ordered this one. Got a nice deal on it. And so um, the water would go here, similar to the other one in the front. Um, and they're made pretty much the same when you open them. It has the field to here line. Um, my other one had a, has the sensor, and that's what was malfunctioning on the other one, is that it wasn't detecting the water. Um... So yeah, so here's my nine. I did the herb kit for this one. And so that's what's growing. And as you can see, this one also has the digital screen and my water's good, has my clock there. Things have been growing for eight days, um, six more days until I need to add some more plant food. And against the same thing, the liquid plant food. Um, and just to show you what's going on in there, before your um, plants start to sprout like these have um you put those little plastic cups or it's recommended you don't have to but it's kind of like a best practices so um you, it's recommended that you put those little plastic um they're just like plastic tops 
over them to kind of help it creates like a greenhouse effect so that helps with the growth process but once they start to um sprout then you can take the top off like you see some of them have tops on and some don't um, i can probably take that one off too i know it's hard to tell especially with the glare um from the lights because the lights are on right now but there is a little something i peeked in there tonight because i just want to make sure everything was at least attempting to grow there's a little something a little sprout in all of these now so even the ones where they aren't as large you know where you can see it clearly if you look down in them you can see a little peak of green um so there is something in all of them but you just kind of it just depends on the angle um but i actually removed the lids and took a peek down in there so i know that they're in there um so yeah, so one of the things, the Genovese, which I believe is a form of basil, these were, it's two of these, this one and this one, they were like the first things to sprout. I think they sprouted like day two. So I was really surprised. So I'm sure they're going to be nice and full. And um, the basils are coming along, the Thai basils right there. It's got a little sprout there, you can see. Um, that's dill. That just popped up literally overnight because I swear I looked and there was nothing there and then all of a sudden you have all of that so I was kind of excited when I saw that so once some things they tell you on some of them I don't know why some of them just have the names but then some of them look more official and most of them will tell you like how long it takes for them to sprout so it can take anywhere from 10 to 21 days and since you can see we're on day eight this has already started um some things sprout quicker. Um, this one has a six to 10 day window, even though I would say this one just started showing me some signs like yesterday. So, um, but still within the six to 10 days, this one's a five to 10 days. Um, and this lets you know it's gonna be tall as well. Um, and that's a short, um, this will harvest um, short and this has a 14 to 21 day. Thing. So again, different sizes. Um, this lets you know the mint will be medium height. So it kind of gives you an idea of where to place them because you want to place them in a good position based on how tall they're grow. Of course, this hood is the lights and you can adjust it just like on the other one. Both of them, you can lift it up. So as the um, herbs start to grow, you can lift and raise the hood. You can do the same thing over here. These, This one is at its maximum height right now because as you can see, <laughs> I do have... Um, one of my lettuce pods, which one is that? The Marvel Four Seasons is doing its thing right here. Um, and I'm really just letting it grow at this point. I'm not even worried about harvesting. It's just a curiosity experiment. Um, this is all round two here on the second one. Um, cause everything here has been grown and harvested. This is all the second stat, uh, set of things that are coming along. Um, and then... Again, this is the first round of everything with this Bounty Elite, but everything seems to be going pretty smooth. Like I said, the machine was working fine, um, and I'm enjoying and loving it, and I really see how people are getting addicted to collecting these things, so I'll probably be on the lookout for um, another Arrow Garden to add to my collection, of course, on a good sale. Um, I do want to note that on Amazon, because that's one of the places you can get Arrow Gardens. You know, at a lot of places other than just the Arrow Garden official site, Amazon carries them. Bed Bath, Bed Bath and Beyond has them online. Best Buy, Kohl's, Macy's—they all sell them online, um, and even QVC. But you just have to um, order most of those places online only, and then you know you order it, and the prices may not be the same in, across the board. So you just have to look in comparison shop. But you can catch good deals and good sales. And Arrow Garden has good sales. Um, I Like I ordered this one directly from Arrow Garden. They have great sales. Um, so I just say keep a, keep an eye out. Um, sign up for the emails and you'll get you know notifications when the sale's coming up. And it's not always just around a holiday. Sometimes they just have a random sale. And it may be a one day or a weekend sale or something. So just keep an eye out for them. Currently right now, Amazon, or at least earlier today, it was the Sprout, which is the smallest. I'm going to only host three pods at a time. But if you just want to, you know, try out the Arrow Garden and see what life is like with an Arrow Garden, it's currently on sale for $59.99 on Amazon. So, and I believe it comes in black is the only one available. They have black or white, but I think black is the only one in stock. So, if you just want to dabble in the Arrow Garden life, you can try out the Sprout. Um, the next 
step up from the sprout would be a harvest, but there are different levels. The elite, this is the top of the line, I guess you could say, slim elite. They also have one that's rounded um, with the same model, holds six, but it's just in a circular shape instead of a long way. You can try that one. Um, on sale, these are usually about 100 to so $120 when I got this one. Um, but regular price is like 179 or close to $200. So again, just keep an eye out for the sales. All right, guys, that is all I want to show you for today. I'll be doing some check-ins from time to time as my um, arrow gardens continue to grow. Especially this one, since it's my first time around with this um, bounty basic. And we'll see, you know, what things are growing and how it's growing. And the end result, once they reach harvest um, height. So I just want to show you my newest addition, the Arrow Garden Bounty Basic, and then also show you the fact that I now have a fully functional um, Harvest Slim Elite, which was my original um, purchase and first um, step into the Arrow Garden world. And even on the old one, as I'll go ahead and show you sitting on there, I'm just letting it dry out. I'm going to ship it back to them. They gave me a shipping label to send it back. So I just have to repackage it and take it to like FedEx. So um, even though the add water light did not work, everything else functioned on my first Arrow Garden, the one that's sitting over here um, waiting to be returned. Everything else worked. So what you see in this current one is stuff that grew from the Arrow Garden. So it did work. Um, it just was the add water sensor was broken, but everything else functioned as it should. But now we're fully functional. We have the correct display. We don't have an annoying red blinking add water um, indicator and life's good. So thanks again for watching. Um, please make sure that you like, subscribe, and follow if you want to see more about my arrow garden journey or even my house plants. These are a few that are currently residing here on the um, island along with the arrow garden but um yeah so just like follow and subscribe and also um check out some more of my videos that i'll have linked dealing with my arrow garden and gardening see you next time